Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very excited to tell you all about the new release of Crossover version 22.1. So if you didn't know what Crossover is, it's a compatibility layer which allows you to run Windows games on the Apple Silicon Mac. It does this by translating on the fly Windows graphics API calls into macOS compatible graphics API calls. And whilst compatibility on Apple Silicon Max is a bit of a moving target, plenty of big games are compatible and often runs much better than trying to run the game through a virtual machine like Parallels. And in this new release of Crossover, we have a bunch of brand new fixes, as well as new compatibility with 32-bit DirectX 10 and 11 games. So today we're just going to be talking about all of the new changes and Crossover's big sale, which is only going to last for a few more days. So make sure to check it out at the end of the video. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the big draw for this release is the fact that we can now play 32-bit DirectX 10 and 11 games on macOS. So if you're familiar with the DXVK switch, this is a compatibility layer which allows Windows Direct X to be translated to Vulkan and then Vulkan gets translated to Metal which is Apple's graphics API using something called Molten VK. And previously this was restricted to 64-bit games only but now we have 32-bit support. This means that some new games can now be launched through Crossover including the Windows only title Total War Rome 2. We can also play a game like Bioshock Infinite and we can also get something like Command and Conquer Remastered working on Apple Silicon Max. Also, this version of Crossover contains several fixes for games. For example, GTA Online is no longer crashing. And also Ubisoft Connect is now working again where it got broken in the last release. We also have fixes for controllers. So there's an update to the SDL version, which improves controller support, specifically with Rumble. We now have support for Xbox Elite Series 2 controllers. There are now 400 updates to Wine D3D, and we also have an update to VK D3D version 1.5. So this is relevant if you're trying to run a game without using DXVK, then the performance and the improvements are all integrated into the latest version of Crossover. So we also have a big sale going on on the Code Weavers website. So make sure to click on the link in the description. Every purchase that is made is gonna help support this channel and the content that I create. Once you follow the link, you can go ahead and press the buy now button. And if you take a look at the promo code box, you you can now type in the promo code Cupid is stupid, press the arrow button here, and then this is going to reduce crossover plus from $74 down to $55.50, which is a 25% discount. So just be aware that this offer expires midnight February 21st. If you're watching this in the future, then you can apply the coupon code Apple Gaming Wiki New, and here we're going to get a 10% discount. If you're watching this further in the future, then this discount code is actually going to be 20% off. So definitely make sure to check out this deal. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.